Number eight. Bowling Green is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. This junior corner has been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now, and he knows how to bring a guy down. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Goes out to the back and it's through his hands. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Bowling Green's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Nice catch on that one. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 44. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. First down. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop at the 38. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 24-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this play is number eight on the drive. scrambling and they get the sack they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that and they'll look to convert here on another third down scoops it up that just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. From 
their own 39-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. First down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening court. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Run left side. He's taken down to the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it third and three. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the go gun. For it. Go. And he shoved out of bounds at the 41 yard line. That makes us look delicious. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tries to get around the corner from the 15. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. They converted on that run by an eyelash. This 
quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense of when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Six yards that time on the pass play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. And he's immediately tackled. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. gets rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Mike one, Mike one. He's out. What a bit of big play by the defense. He can't hold it. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. And he might want it all here and does. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Down he goes, around the 21-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. That brings up second and nine. Mike seven, Mike seven. Larry, Larry, Larry. Plus 20, check 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. He's to the 40, across midfield. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. An amazing run. This kid was moving. Man, no kidding. This guy can fly. First and ten following that big run. That's a great tackle at the 21. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. He's on the run. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. This is the eighth play of the drive. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Here's the ball for a nice game. The half-back option good for seven yards. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Ray two. 
He's out of bounds at the three-yard line. This one should be makeable. Minnesota is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Minnesota's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Quick pass, and he hits him hard at the 27-yard line. Inside the 30 to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. And he converts the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The Golden Gophers are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Pressure. Great concentration to haul it in. That's a deep one. Mike one, Mike one. Motion, motion, motion. Makes it to the 44. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. He gets to about the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. After a decent pickup. First and ten. Ball on the 36 yard line. Got some open field. Runs it left for a decent game. Inside the 10. He's tackled around the 8-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. They'll get him for a loss. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Check, check. 
Second down and goal. Ball on the 13. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's the 11th play of the drive. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. The draw within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 10 7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Minnesota is up by three. He takes it right side for a good game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quarter. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49 yard line. From the 39-yard line, third down. Three down, three down. Minnesota points. is up a field goal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green. Green, green, green. Looks middle, got his back, and he's stopped behind the line. They're stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. Got a man in and out of his hands. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line. He goes out of 
of bounds at about the 27 yard line. It's away and it's a booming punt. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Minnesota has a three point lead. Gets to about the 37 yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 37 yard line. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. Mike seven, Mike seven, Black Now he's flushed and they got it. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's going to air it long. Leaps picked off. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 19. And he's taken down at about the 17-yard line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. As they found out right here on this play. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. their own 15-yard line. Third down. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. kick. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 10-7, Golden Gophers. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Minnesota holds a field goal lead. Nice run there as they work the outside. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Down he goes at the 20-yard line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page. And then show the confidence that you still have. And then despite this play, that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. That brings us forth the line. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Oh. 
The kick is up, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. The score now, Minnesota 13, Bowling Green 7. He sends this one deep. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Quick toss. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. With the tackle, gain of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Brought down around the 37-yard line. It's a yard, maybe less. That'll bring up second and 11. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's tackled at about the 45. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Minnesota up six. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. to go. Ball on their own 38. Throws out and through his hands. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And they push him out at the 48. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it second and six. Oh, 
They got to him, and he did not get the first down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. I thought the defense did a pretty good job of getting penetration, but the quarterback just kind of shimmied through and got the first. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. up the fumble and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line great example of an opportunistic defense coming up with the fumble in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Minnesota is up by six. Big opening. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Sets them up with a first and goal. That's a great tackle at the 13. From the 13 yard line, second down. Seven to Mike, Mike seven. Green. Kill, kill, kill. Down to three. He's tackled around the 15 yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. down. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Kirk, we've talked a lot about this guy over the last few years. Here he is again, making it look easy. Yeah, he's just got a knack for coming up with a big play. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. I don't care if this offensive line uses two or even three guys to stop him. There's nothing they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on display today. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Go down, go down. Check 82. Watch this. Got an opening. He makes his way to about the 42. First 
Quick pass, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. They get four yards on that pass play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. He's got an opening. They'll bring him down to the 38 yard line. That makes it second and two. The defender had it and then dropped it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 26. Gets it out in a hurry. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Bowling Green. He makes the PAT. Bowling Green is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Minnesota with a two-point advantage. And he is drilled at the 28. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Four yards gain. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. He really got a hold of that one. He fields a punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 25. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he's level. 
at the 46. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Six. Five wide. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He punts. No, he won't. Fires to his fullback, no good. And they'll take over on downs. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Minnesota is up two. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's taken down at the 39. Here comes the pressure. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hand off on the draw. And down he goes at about the 21. Nice run there. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. It's second and seven. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the nine-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Minnesota holds just a two-point lead. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis which is exactly what he did on that play. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Brought down at about the three-yard line. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Steps out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. And this one is a beauty. Tries to get around the corner. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Counter left. Here's an opening. Runs it left for a decent game. Golden Gophers taking their first time out of the half. Two minutes left in the half. And he's tackled at about the 35. Under heavy pressure. He passes it. It's broken up. And they're going team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt from the 15. He showed a good burst there. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That's a seven-yard gain. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. He's hit and taken down. And he's hit immediately. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Another interception by this defense, and their sideline is really fired up. Yeah, they didn't want this quarterback to be able to beat them through the air. And with three interceptions, I would say they are winning that battle right now. From midfield. First down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He steps out at the 42-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. made at the 33. Kill, kill, kill! That makes it first and 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green, 15. Go. Deep 
football, laying it out there. Makes a catch in the end zone, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. They come out in a five-wide set. And a quick throw. If you're going to put the ball into that kind of coverage, you better be accurate, or you'll be wearing a baseball cap and headphones on the sidelines standing next to the coach. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's tackled at the 43. Makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Three down, three down. Check 82, watch 82. Ball coming in. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Number 81, the receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Tackle at the 20. That makes it first and 10. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Kicks up, and it is good. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 26-17, Golden Gophers. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy, less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? Well, if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good 
Oh, well, good game school. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Are they stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you are at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There he goes. They'll bring him down at the 35. And they get nice yardage on that run. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. No that that brings up second and nine. Alert, alert. And he just gets rid of it. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. They'll get him for a loss. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, blocking wasn't there, and down he went. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 17. Decent pickup. down. He'll get it again. They bring him down in the backfield. it out in a hurry. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was in bounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. 
After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. First and 10, ball on the 37. Three down, three down. Seven's the mark. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. And now he's got room to run. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. field goal unit here. That makes it fourth and four. He gets it up, and it's good. <laughs> Minnesota lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. They bring the quarterback down. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down at the 23. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Bowling Green's game plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it brilliant. Uh, they knew coming in that they'd have to be able to rely on running the football. So far, so good. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the second half. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Second and long. Ball on the 34-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. He goes downtown. Complete. It's the junior, and down he goes at the 22. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Brought 
fourth down at the 26. That makes it second and 14. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled around the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, it's third down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. It's up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Here's the give. Loose football. It's picked up. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. put some points on the board in their last drive and they'll start this one in position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. Brought down in the open field. Zips it to the tight end. It's second down and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Steam on that carry. They'll line it up again on third down. Crosses left, intercepted. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. Man left, man left. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40. Here's the tight end. Drop. Yeah. 
gets to about the 41-yard line. And they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. So we got a little on that return. Well, Grant, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally brought down at the 42-yard line. Did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 45. They give to the tailback. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. It complete to the halfback over the middle. And they make the stop right around the 46 yard line. That'll make it fourth and 14. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. For Minnesota, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. Good pass rush by these guys today. And for Minnesota, they also have the defensive touchdown to their credit. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Set. 10, 19, cut. Tackle at the 30. That makes it first and 10. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out right around the 36-yard line. So they go to the air and pick up six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down and seven. Ball on the 33-yard line. Fires quickly. He's got the tailback on another catch. And they lose a couple there. Really, they just have nowhere to go after the catch.
And this one is a beauty. He's knocked out of bounds around the 23-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Loss of one there for the halfback. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 22. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and eight. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He sails it long, has it to the senior. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. He hits the PAT. Bowling Green, ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Minnesota up by eight. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Second down and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. He goes out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Throws complete and he's hit hard behind the line. Good possession there for the defense. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 81 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. 
Ball on their own 49. Nice run there. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. Roger, Roger. Third Mike down. Mike one, And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Alert, alert. Just throws this one away. They're coming after this punter. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Minnesota is up by eight. Side after a nice pickup. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll work the left side. He makes it to the 28 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That makes it second and six. To it and gets a good five yards. That'll make it good. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Red two. Green nine. Go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Minnesota holds an eight-point advantage. He makes his way to about the 38. That's three down and one to go. Golden Gophers in front by eight. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Looks left, finding his tailback. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. This is the ninth play of this drive. This is so difficult to defend. This is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. From the 25-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. It's the 11th play of the drive. This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were back into their own red zone last time. 
And he's tackled after positive yardage. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. From the eight-yard line, it's second down. Minnesota up by eight. Green nine, green nine. Scrambling around. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. The defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. About the 35. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 34 yard line, it's second down. Tackled around the 43 yard line. Throws incomplete, broken up. And I think the quarterback that time didn't even see the linebacker. I think he was so focused downfield trying to read the safeties in the secondary that by the time he came to his receiver that was being guarded by the linebacker, I don't think he saw him. The linebacker made a good play to be able to knock that ball away. Fires it out. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. So if there's one thing I learned in this game, it's to never count a team out. There's still enough time on this clock for these guys to come back and win this game. With the pass incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. The cavalry's coming. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Five wide. He lets it fly. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. Going deep, lays it out there. He goes up and gets it. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. They don't get it. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. 
This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Pitches in and he's got a lane. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Tackle made at about the 41. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. And he hits him hard at the 27-yard line. Throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. He's on the run. He takes it right side for a good game. yards away here on third down. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From the 13-yard line, second down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Mike seven. Mike seven. Black Black. Black. And they won't get the two. like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Wants to go long and does. They'll bring him down at the 16. I think this defense got a little bit soft with the two possession lead. They better pick it up because this game is a long way from being over. the 13-yard line. Ball is loose, fumble. The defense has it. He 
He has some room. The five. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Minnesota is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. He flings it, and it's intercepted by the senior quarterback. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. After a decent pickup. That'll bring up second and three. Just throws this one away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The 33 yard line. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. He gets it up and he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Tackle at the 49-yard line. When it rains, it pours. Are you kidding me? An interception? You're already getting blown out? There's no chance to come back now. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Minnesota up big. He scrambled. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That, that brings, brings up second and nine. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Black five. Easy, Black five. easy. Motion, motion, Where? Motion. And he just gets rid of it. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Slings it. It falls incomplete. Boy, that was a really 
tough drive for this offense. You've got to believe the offensive coordinator, really the entire offensive staff, they're going to try to huddle up with this offense, try to make sure everybody's on the same page, try to forget about that last drive, and let's try to find some confidence and try to establish something here in this next series. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's taken down at the 27. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Minnesota in control. He gets rid of this one. to 21. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Now, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Four down, four down. Watch 20, check 20. Mike, and they'll bring him down behind the line. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Receiver dropped. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. He's at midfield, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. Tackled 
tackle made at the 35. And he is drilled at the 27 yard line. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time, he paid for being a step behind the receiver. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the eighth play of this drive. a great tackle at the 25. And he tackles him hard at the 32. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one for Mike. Watch one. Watch one. Three. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Complete big loss. Five yard loss on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This back's had a good day on the ground, Kirk. He sure is, Brad. I mean, the defense is just having a hard enough time just trying to bring him down. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. Well, the defense held him to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24. Minnesota comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Feeds it to the back. Gets to about the 27 yard line. That's good for three yards. That makes it 33. Big opening. They go to the left for a nice game. From their own 33-yard line. First down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. They get nice yardage on that run. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Hey, two. Orange three. Orange three. Go. He's 
level at the 40-yard line. That brings us fourth and three. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. A little over a minute in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he's immediately tackled. That's good for the game. First down. Mike one. Mike one. Zips it to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. That makes it second and two. And he throws it away. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. Steps out of bounds around the 44-yard line. That's a gene of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Larry, Larry, Larry. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout, and he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. Bowling Green's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35. We have less than a minute to go. There's a strike complete. He's down. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Five wide. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. That makes it first to ten. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. He goes out of bounds around the 21-yard line. This is the 14th play of this drive. That'll bring up third and six. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. He unloads it. 
picked off, and that'll seal it up. Well, it's just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out, now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over the sideline for these guys? Minnesota looking to add to this big lead here. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Mercifully, this one is over. Minnesota, 58, Bowling Green, 30. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.